Hi everyone, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at the AWS reInvent and today there were some amazing announcements made at the keynote and one that stood out to me was around the marketplace. I think there are more than 2300 tools in the marketplace just around the agents and AI. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to learn a little about that. 60 competency partners that were uh, also mentioned in the new category, the agentic category. Kind of curious to know about that as well. So I'm gonna go to the marketplace team and chat with them about the different things that are happening at the marketplace and completely, if you look at the AWS marketplace, there are more than 30,000 products. So I'm wanting to learn more about that. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go and chat with Jeff first. Jeff, uh, uh, so excited to be here at the Marketplace. Tell us more about what's happening at the AWS Marketplace. We've been hearing so many interesting announcements uh, around Marketplace and the listing of you know different tools and uh, you know obviously agents and AI. Tell us more about what's happening here. How are teams benefiting out of the Marketplace? Absolutely, thanks for having me. This is for great. Sure. So very excited with AWS Marketplace here today. So. Uh, what I always like to say is that AWS Marketplace is a 13-year-old service. It is built on top of AWS. Right. And it is truly a marketplace. It brings together sellers, channel partners, systems integrators, and our customers worldwide. And being a 13-year-old service, when we first started out, it was really about our customers that were using AWS Cloud, building on our cloud, and Marketplace began to surface in some of our service consoles. So when builders, architects, cloud engineers were building out, seeking, uh, transformational initiatives on AWS Marketplace and AWS, we surfaced third-party software in the consoles or the venues in which they worked, and so they deployed code immediately right into their AWS accounts. It made right. it fast and frictionless and easy, and it all was contained on the AWS bill, which is very fast for builders and to innovate. And so transformatively, when we moved into the SaaS era, and now with agents and tools, and now even blending in professional services, mm -hmm. really encapsulating that experience from not just the seller journey of making a route to market more convenient, but our buyers that are AWS customers can really find those solutions in an agentic way using AI yes. to really bring to market the uh, business problems and the solutions that they're seeking exactly. to develop on AWS. So super exciting, we're showcasing a lot of that here today. And it's buzzing, uh, I'm seeing all that. Uh, thanks for sharing that information and thanks for letting us know about you know how things have been moving uh, very quickly in the marketplace, but I've been also talking to the other partners around and what I'm learning is uh, they're enjoying being on the marketplace. Uh, yes. There's so much attention that they're getting when they're on the marketplace, and obviously there are joint customers who are benefiting out of there. Uh, what's next for marketplace? Right, uh, what, do, what do you think about uh, the future? How do you see the next maybe six months? I'm not even going to say two years or anything. Right, right? exactly. That's yeah. changed a bit with AI, it sure <laughs> has. So the timeline is a lot shorter, but yes. what's really exciting is that marketplaces are here to stay. And it's a new avenue or a new route for our partners, our, and again, our channel partner systems integrators, our ISVs, all the partners that you see here, there's thousands of them here today, which we're really excited about. Exactly. And they're bringing their solutions, listings, and technology into this marketplace venue where our customers can discover them, find them, uh, do free trials, uh, look at even some of our product-led growth strategies to help them with some of the dual engine strategy of looking at engaging our customers in a way that is uh, more of the traditional sense of negotiating contracts, but also, I like to call them our walk-up customers, yep. our builders, our technicians who are looking to really self-serve, uh, find the right solutions, and now with some of our feature releases on Marketplace, doing this in an agentic way, uh, with semantic search and deep research capabilities, yep. comparing products using our AI technology, it's really exciting. So what's new and what's exciting, and I like that timeline, three to six months, yeah. uh, it's going to continue down that path exactly. of bringing AI into that fold to make it faster, more efficient, and convenient for our customers. I love it. Uh, I'm just going to go and you know, obviously chat with a few people around and uh, chat with teams who are in the agent space who are talking about agentic AI and do a round uh, here in terms of learning more about what's happening at the marketplace and what are the different products because looks like there are more than 30,000 products on the marketplace. So yeah. that's a huge number. I want to know everything about it. Absolutely, so you're going to talk to my friend Mike Levy who's yeah. going to bring in a much deeper perspective on some of the agents and tools marketplace capabilities. All right. But when you look at all these solutions, yes, there's thousands and thousands and so. I um, can't wait. I'm going to do next with Mike and I'm just going to walk to him and let him know about what we've spoken but then also learn about the different things he and his team has been building. Fantastic, thank awesome. you so much, appreciate it. Thank you it. very much, Jeff. All right. It's such a pleasure chatting with you. Likewise, thank you. All right, let's go to Mike. 
All right, I'm here with Mike from AWS Marketplace. I'm excited to chat with you, Mike. First of all, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you. Welcome to Reinvent. Thanks for having us. Awesome, Mike. I'm kind of wanting to obviously learn a lot about what's happening at AWS Marketplace, about the agent tech AI category, which has been, yeah. you know, obviously been listed. There are 2,300 plus partners. But just before getting into all of that, would you like to quickly tell us what do you do at AWS uh, Marketplace and uh, what is your team building? Yeah, for sure. So I'm part of our business development team, and I was the BD leader for for our launch of AI agents and tools as a category in Marketplace, which we launched at the New York Summit in July, and we've seen tremendous growth nice. since then with a lot of our trusted partners putting their agentic solutions on the Marketplace to reach our mutual customers. Yes, uh, I love that. Uh, and from today's keynote announcement, there was this big announcement that was made about the new category, which is the agentic AI category. I've seen 2,300 plus partners that have been listed there. Yeah. It was unreal to see so many partners being there, but at the same time, this also is a validation for so many different partners out there, there that they've been doing something yeah. pretty cool, and yeah. AWS is definitely giving them that space or that market to go out and reach like the mutual customers, right? Uh, what are your thoughts around this? Tell us more about these uh, listing in this category. How is it going to benefit the larger community as well? Yeah, I think the, the thing with Marketplace, particularly in the agentic AI space, is we have something for everyone. Yes. So if you're looking for an AI agent that's ready to go off the shelf, we have providers that have that in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Or if you're looking to build some of your own agentic solutions, we have all the ingredients or the pieces that you might need, whether that's knowledge bases, MCP servers, SaaS with embedded agents, or even AI development platforms, agentic AI development platforms that are on the marketplace as well. Love it. Yeah. Uh, and what what do you see, uh, you know, for those who w wish to be also be listed? Because I also have you know, obviously companies who've been yeah. doing so much in the agentic space and they would also be wanting to be listed here. Yeah. What's the process for that? How does that look like? So the process for listing on Marketplace is, is super easy and intuitive, so it can be self-service as well. There's a couple different types of products that you can list on Marketplace, obviously SaaS, uh, software, deployed software, containers, professional services, and AI agents and tools is sort of the newest category. And you're able to deploy that either in your own environment to reach the customers or in the customer's environment. And so importantly, what we announced with, uh, with Marketplace and AI agents is right. an integration with Agent Core. So you heard Matt talk about Agent Core this morning and a few of the new uh, components that we release, like policy and evaluations, which are right. super exciting. Part of the reason that's exciting is because Marketplace partners can list their tools in Marketplace, but deploy them for customers in Agent Core to use them more immediately in, in their workflows. I love it. Uh, one more question around this is, I also saw at the booth, and I know it's buzzing, but I got a chance to, you know, obviously chat with the folks out there, and they mentioned about AI mode. Uh, that is something like a very interesting yeah. feature that I've been kind of seeing where you can even compare the agents or you know uh, compare the workflow that you already have and see the results, uh, compare those results which tool would be the best for you as well. 100%. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, you can think of it as a new way for customers to really browse marketplace and reach the solutions that they want. Right. We heard from customers that they're not just looking for specific products, yep. they're looking for an end solution. And marketplace <laughs> has that solution, but this agent mode, which is a new search paradigm for marketplace, really enables customers to come not just with a, a product they want, but a, a problem they have, and then we'll match you with the right solution, be it software, data, professional services, or agents and tools. So it's a real interesting, fun way to interact with Marketplace. You can yes. you can upload business requirements and, and sort of get an idea of what you can have in the Marketplace as a solution from our trusted partners and really just get started building. I love it. Uh, Mike, this is so good. Uh, one last question for you. If people want to reach out to you, your team, yeah. and learn more about what you all are building, which is the best place? LinkedIn? Uh, LinkedIn's or? good. I think if you're, if you're a partner of Marketplace already, you have your partner development manager who knows a ton about Marketplace. If you're new to, to AWS, you can explore Marketplace, you can list as a self-service product. You can also try and buy on Marketplace, which is a super exciting motion for a lot of our Okay, customers. and uh, that's very helpful. Um, Mike, one more question is, if I want to learn more about the 60 com AI competency winners as yes. well, who have been uh, named as like uh, the competency uh, on the AI agents, I guess, yeah. uh, whom should I be chatting with? So you're talking about the new agentic AI competency which launched, which is super exciting. We have 60 plus launch partners, right. majority of which are listed in Marketplace and available to customers. Victor and Chris were the leads for, for that competency launch, and I'm sure they'll be excited to talk to you. 
I'm gonna do that. I'm awesome. gonna go and ch uh, chat with those guys uh, next. Uh, so stay tuned. We are getting there. All right, as promised, I'm here with Victor and Chris from Marketplace. Uh, Victor, Chris, super excited to chat with you about various things. There was big announcement that was made today around the new category, the Agent Tech AI category, and there were 60 competency partners that were listed on that. Uh, I'm kind of curious to learn about that, but before getting into that, I would love to know from both of you, what do you all do at AWS? And uh, tell us a little bit about your role as well. Maybe sure. Victor. Great, great to great, great to meet you today. Uh, and yes, we are proud to announce the new agentic AI category in the AWS AI competency that we rebranded from Gen AI now to something known as the AWS AI competency. And uh, my, my role in the in the competencies uh, as tech leader, I'm in charge of defining the criteria for validating and vetting these partners that uh, at this moment are 60 partners that we launched. Nice. About. Chris? Yeah, my, my name is Chris Daly. I lead the generative AI, uh, now the AI competency at AWS. Still getting used to that new name. Um, I'm the business lead for it, so um, the competency is a way for AWS to elevate the stature of our partners, make it easier for our customers to find partners that have validated expertise with AI, um, and we help to use that as a way to invest into our partners and um, get, get them better connections into our yeah. customers. That's fantastic. I've been talking to a few partners, those who were listed on the competency list as well, and what I've been kind of hearing is great reviews around the marketplace, and that is one of the reasons I wanted to be here chatting with the marketplace team as well and see the roadmap. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little bit about any use cases that you all have seen uh, with the partners and AWS kind of going together and helping different industries. Anything that you guys would like to share around that? Uh, maybe, Victor? Absolutely. Uh, we've seen partners that, that are implementing uh, customer experience solutions, for example. That's one of the most common use cases where now it's no longer only a generative AI, but now we have agents behind this experience and executing processes that are important for the customers and also for the, for the partners to implement this in a safe way and also uh, with all the clarity and observability that is needed. That's, yeah, uh, I think that's uh, pretty awesome, uh, Victor. I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little bit about the future. How do you see these 60 partners moving ahead in the game for next three to six months? Uh, because there's a lot of, you know, obviously new innovations that keep happening as well. And we're seeing that in the last three years, things have moved so quickly in the AI space and Agent AI is kind of, you know, moving very quickly. So any thoughts around that maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, share? Um, the, the competency partners, I think what separates them is that they are first movers. Um, right. They're super close to our teams. Yes. They get the technology. A lot of them get access to betas and pilots. Um, they've got great interlock, as we say at Amazon, with <clears throat> specialist teams, technical folks, right? So as part of the competency, it's just they continue to push the boundaries of where the technology is headed. Um, yeah. And they just get that extra element of support from us. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love how you kind of, you know, obviously mentioned about being the first movers in the game as well. It kind of helps because I think we are in that uh, era where things need to move quickly, yeah. th things need to be tested quickly, and, you know, even for the enterprise leaders out there, they want to try things very quickly, and uh, we moved out of that phase where it was just all about experiments. Now it's more about trying yeah. things, getting things into the production, and then getting to the next level. Yeah, then yeah. These, these competency partners, um, you know, they go through this extra step of validation, right? So they work with our teams, um, so we can understand really the technology that's being used. Um, they go through that extra validation, like I said. They've yes. got the commercial yes. success. Um, and yeah, it's just really exciting what they're building. Yeah. Um, it's just really helping push the, the, the boundaries forward. I love it. Uh, I'm going to be chatting with uh, a few partners around. I'm going to try and, you know, obviously catch up with those 60 partners if I can. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have three more days to go, so I'm excited about it. Uh, Chris, Victor, thanks for doing this. Yeah. We'll keep chatting. We'll be talking to all the partners around, and we'll definitely do a 2.0 session very soon, maybe in New York AWS reInvent. Who yeah. knows? Sounds uh, great. All right. Great. See you guys. Thank you everyone for joining us.